I shall never forget the fields of wheat, so blasted by heat that they cannot be harvested. I shall never forget field after field of corn, stunted, earless, stripped of leaves, for what the sun left, the grasshoppers took. I saw a brown pasture that would not keep a cow on 50 acres. Yet I would not have you think for a single minute that there is permanent disaster in these drought regions, or that the picture I saw meant depopulating these areas. The New Deal's greatest environmental challenge unfolded on the Great Plains. Prior to the New Deal, poor agricultural practices had contributed to soil depletion and decreased yields, leaving this vast region ecologically vulnerable. A long drought in the early 1930s triggered disaster. The winds that swept across the plains began carrying off its dry, depleted topsoil in enormous dust storms. In the hardest hit area, nicknamed the Dust Bowl, hundreds of thousands of people abandoned the land. In 1936, in an effort to make all of America aware of the plight of American farmers, FDR commissioned writer and film critic Pere Lorenz to produce a pioneering documentary titled The Plow That Broke the Plains. This award-winning film was produced through the Farm Security Administration. Pere Lorenz said of the film, it tells the story of the plains and it tells it with some emotional value. An emotion that springs out of the soil itself. Our hero is the grass, our villain the sun and the wind. Our players are the farmers living in the Plains country. FDR attacked this problem on several fronts. The Soil Conservation Service helped farmers enrich their soil and stem erosion. The Taylor Grazing Act regulated grazing on overused public ranges. And the New Deal's Farm Security Administration, the FSA, assisted migrant workers by operating clean residential camps that became islands of stability for migrants enduring grinding poverty. The FSA also promoted soil conservation and improved farmland ravaged by erosion. The Shelter Belt Program fought wind erosion by planting over 200 million trees in a belt running from Canada to Texas. This immense windbreak moderated the Dust Bowl's destructive winds. A lover of nature and rural life, FDR had a keen interest in conservation. His conservation vision emphasized government planning in the development and preservation of natural resources. This was reflected in his approach to public power which emphasized flood control and reducing soil erosion along with production of cheap electricity. No cracked earth, no blistering sun, no burning wind, no grasshoppers are a permanent match for the indomitable American farmers and stockmen and their wives and children who have carried on through desperate days and inspire us with their self-reliance, their tenacity, and their courage. 